Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Immortal Planet. Now Immortal Planet is a Souls-like, yes, it's a love letter to Dark Souls as personally described by the developer and it is in a style of an isometric action RPG. So as you can see I've already had a little bit of a play on it just to get a little bit more familiar with the controls because obviously Dark Souls is difficult and this is no exception. So let us start a new game and see what we are going to be playing as. As you can see, I played for about 18 minutes. We're going to play in the second save slot. Now we get to choose our first weapon slash relic, which is of course an item of some sort. Now, I started with the assault blade before. I personally feel like that's pretty nice. But maybe I should choose something else. Maybe I should use a sword spear instead. Let's use a sword spear instead. Now, what I chose previously was bloodshot eyes. As you can see, it gives a little bit of a description there, but it also gives a kind of riddle to describe what it actually does. Now, I think what it does is it has a sort of lifesteal component to it. So maybe I'll take that. Let's have a look here. It grants some damage reduction and with perfect timing, the ability to deflect incoming blows without effort. So obviously, if you are a little bit more skilled than I am, then Iron Spine seems to be pretty decent. And what is this? When executing a perfect dodge through an enemy attack, you will regain stamina. That might actually be really good, but I think Bloodshot Eyes is something I'm going to go for because life is the thing that matters most. Alright, so welcome to Immortal Planet. Now this is our fellow right here. This is the guy that we are going to be playing as and there's our first enemy. Now of course we are going to have to go through the tutorial but it is very, very, well it's it's not basic but you kind of already know what you're going to be doing if you've already played Dark Souls kind of thing. So we're going to be doing a little bit of damage right there and now do bear in mind that most of the enemies will have relatively easy attacks to avoid at the start because, well, you know, it's a Souls game and basically they want to make sure that you know what you're doing and there's a charge, now the charge goes in a straight line and then he attacks and by the way, you can see your enemy's stamina which is a big, big deal. Now we have these various switches throughout the levels and things like that that we can use to open up various gates and you can also hold A to run if you so desire. Now they do recommend using a controller so if you don't have a controller then well you may want to you know consider getting one or something I don't know but I mean if you are technically playing on PC a lot then I would personally recommend it anyway. So yes let's try and avoid this. There we go. Nice. Good to good amount of damage right there. But yeah, basically the main thing you want to be looking out for is the enemy's stamina because that is giving you a really, really good idea of what they're doing and when they're going to attack and all that sort of thing. Because at the moment, obviously, you know, they're, they're charging and then, they, you know, they can't attack if they have no stamina. It's exactly the same as the player. So it's really, really nice to see that that has been added. So let's open that up. That is going to be a nice little, nice little thing. Yeah, the, now an auto injector containing immortal blood that can heal the body. So you don't have a, I think, I think this is the case at least. You do not have a passive healing elixir type thing. I think you have one charge when you go and rest at a quote-unquote bonfire. Technically, it's not a bonfire. It's just a sort of resting shrine place. But yeah, it's, it's technically a bonfire. And I think you have one healing charge passively, but you can find more throughout the levels. So exploration is rewarded heavily, as is the case with items. So as you can see here, I have a ceremonial pistol, and I can use that to shoot at people. So obviously that's pretty nice. Let's try and avoid this guy. And oh my, I just fell off the edge. Yes, I did. I was unaware you could do that actually, hilariously enough. Can you believe that? I did not fall off the edge once in my previous efforts. So let's just run on by here because that's what you can do. You know, this is 
very much inspired by Dark Souls. So you can run by your opponents and you don't really need to worry about them too much. So we're going to just try and do as much damage as I can against this guy. I'm, not, I'm trying not to get hit, basically, because I don't really want to die. <laughs> yes, hilarious. Because I did. Now, the enemies will all respawn. But the cool thing about it is that you can choose when you respawn the items? I'm actually unsure about that as well, because I have rested, I think, once. And that restored all of my HP, of course, and all of the charges on my gun and, you know, other things. I don't really want to spoil, but there are some other items in the future that we're going to be getting relatively soon. And there we go. Nice. Okay. And we can dash over gaps, as you can see there, so that's pretty nice. And then we're going to open this up as well. Hopefully this is going to give us a nice item. Yeah, see, there, there you go. We have just been given an additional one of those auto-injectors. So that's basically a flask. You know, a flask. Yeah, so now there is a specific ability that your weapon has. And you can charge it up by holding the X button. And the other blade that I was using had some sort of power-up. I think it powered up the ability to do more damage, I think. So there is that to consider if you're going to be picking a weapon. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, everything seems to be going a lot better than it was on my first save. I suppose it does make a difference if you've already played a little bit. Okay, so it's got to be careful about this guy. He's using... Kind of a similar weapon to what I'm using right now. Oh no, I got hit. Oh, well, never mind. As you can see, the damage is pretty decent that they are able to do to you. So you do need to be a little bit careful. Did you see that though? Did you see when I killed that guy? My bloodshot eyes have restored my HP by a small percentage. So it's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good item to start with. If you want to worry about your HP, of course. And now here's the other thing that I was talking about. The lightning bolt. So, if you want to, you can become a spellcaster. And I think a spellcaster might actually be really, really fun to play as. But anyway, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Yes, I almost got shot. Oh, I could have actually gone over here, couldn't I? Yeah, I could have dashed over that particular gap. Should I, should I still do that? There we go. Okay, let's just try and avoid this guy. There we go, nice. Okay, that guy's going to shoot me. I'm going to use my gun a little bit here. There we go. Take out that guy. Now, hopefully, he's going to shoot. There we go. Now, this guy is going to have a little bit of an advantage against us. But, thankfully, he is going to just continue shooting. So, now we can get something from here. I'm actually unsure what this is. I think it's another auto-injector. Yes, it is. Fantastic. So, if you want to have additional HP and you want to get these these items, these auto-injectors, then I'd highly recommend exploring and, and things like that, because I think, isn't it every time you die you lose all of them? I think, I think that is the case, because as you can see on the bottom left, the RB at the moment, that is our auto-injector icon, and we have two orange pips and one white pip. I assume the white pip is the default that you are always left with after you die, or whatever the case may be, after you rest at a shrine. So it's pretty it's pretty decent to go for something like that. Wait a minute, have I have I already been here? Ah, level up at your cryopod. Yes, so that's that's exactly what I was talking about. That is the shrine slash bonfire place. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, now I do have a block. You can actually block, it does consume stamina, and as far as I'm aware, it doesn't Yeah, it blocks one hundred percent of the damage, so that is pretty cool. If I do see so myself. Because you want to, you know, you want to make sure that you're going to be absolutely safe if you're going to be blocking. But, again, it consumes stamina, so it's not a get-out-of-jail-free card. And what is this? Ah, I think I know what this is. There we go. Yet another auto-injector. I'm going to be really surprised if I die here, but you know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? I have a bad feeling that I'm literally going to... Come to a place. Oh, there you go. Nice. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Anyway, this is a shortcut. This is a shortcut. So I'm really, really happy about this. Now I need to be a little bit careful about this guy. There we go. Let's just kill him. Thank you. But yeah, now this is a shortcut. 
And you can unlock these shortcuts as you run around and all that sort of thing. So you can get back to the newer areas that you unlock a little bit easier. So if I, for example, rest here, I don't want to rest, but I want to level up. And I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be specking into intelligence because I personally feel like having an additional spell use and having more spell damage is really, really useful. Now, of course, I could spec into, you know, this is very much souls like so you know i could spec into strength create a strength build that would give me more health and more attack damage and if i wanted to spec into endurance that would give me more stamina and agility obviously would give me more attack damage as well now i'm not entirely sure what willpower does what does willpower do ah okay okay never mind never mind okay so basically willpower gives me more spell uses which is weird because you would think that intelligence would do that because it gives me more item uses, but it gives me spell damage as well. Very, very strange. Okay, well, I don't really mind about that so much. I mean, I'm happy to use an additional, you know, additional point in our in our uh, gun, you know. I think that's pretty decent, so let's just go with that. Now, we can rest, but I don't really want to do that. Wait a minute, did I, did I just rest by mistake? I, I didn't actually select that, so that's a little bit strange, but okay, well, I don't... I don't really mind, I suppose, but I have lost all of my auto injectors, as you can see, so that's a bit of a that's a bit of a shame. So I guess I'm gonna have to try and find more of those, or do, do I, does it really matter? I don't know. Does it really matter? Maybe. Well, let's just go and see whether I can get those. I'm gonna cut away for this because obviously we've already seen this. All right, so I have actually entered a new area here. As you can see, I do have one additional auto injector, but that that is basically it. Anyway, dash into enemies with low stamina. Uh huh. Why would I dash into enemies with low stamina? Hmm. Maybe there's a reason for that. But at the moment, I'm kind of just wanting to play a little bit safer here. I mean, I, I suppose it's going to knock them down or something along those lines, maybe? Or may maybe I have to dash into them with low stamina? I don't actually know, but as you can see, we're doing enough damage as it is. It's not really necessary for me to do anything fancy at the moment. I don't really want to take additional damage. I know that there are... Oh, what's that? That's new. I have not ever come across this before. I'm going gonna, gonna to press A on it. No? No? That, that does not that does not do anything. I can assume that maybe I have to kill all the enemies in the area. Well, that was easy enough, but let's see whether this does anything. No? It doesn't do anything. Can I attack it? <laughs> if I attack it, I'm probably going to die, aren't I? Because that's that's what Dark Souls is like, anyway. Is it is it, Do I have to hold it? No, no, nothing is happening right now. So I can assume that there may be something necessary. It says dash into enemies with low stamina. Maybe that's what I have to do. Okay, so I'm going to try and get my stamina low and then dash into this thing. I mean, I can assume that that could be taken both ways, whether enemies have low, H low HP, low stamina, or I have low stamina. So let's see. Nope, that makes no difference whatsoever. Okay, well, it seems like I am unaware of how to activate that specific thing at the moment. But at the very least, I am, you know, in a pretty decent position. So hopefully we'll be able to go and progress a little bit here. Give me this. Oh yeah, sneaky mode engaged. Give me that. Thank you very much. There's another one of those. And hopefully I'll be able to just sneak on by. Oh, I can't because they've blocked off the area. How wonderful of them. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Double hits. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's just avoid being attacked, please. There we go. Kill those. And then we can also deal with this guy. But do you see how amazing seeing the stamina of the enemy is it really does make a huge difference to your strategy and your various tactics that you'll use in combat and bosses have that as well yes there are bosses there are very very big bosses and well they mean business they certainly do there we go we seem to have all of the auto injectors back and these guys are, are, are oh yeah they're gonna they're going to do that jumping thing, aren't they? Yeah, that's really annoying. Okay. Okay, come on. Uh, no. Yeah, ooh, that was close. That was close. I literally almost 
dodged off the edge. That would have been bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so, yes, I can level up at my cryopod once again. I don't personally want to do that right now, even though I do have a pretty decent amount of... I'm not entirely sure what they what they are. I, I don't want to call them souls, because they're technically not souls. But whatever they are, I have a good amount of them. Oh, and it seems like I can't actually do anything here. Well, that is unfortunate. I'm going to have to wait until I kill this guy to get it. There are multiple shortcuts in the area, so I'm hopeful that I'll be able to activate them. Is this a shortcut? I don't think it is. I think it's just an item. Yeah, it is just an item. But do you see how many auto-injectors I have right now? Yeah. We are going to have a really, really good chance at killing the boss without dying at least even once. So I'm pretty happy with that because the first time I fought the boss, I think I died once? Mm, I'm not sure because there's actually one strong enemy that is coming up that I think is just a regular enemy. It's not even a boss. And I got murdered by it pretty badly. So... Let's see if we're, we're able to deal with it this time. Yeah, there we go. There's the shortcut. That is the shortcut console that I was talking about. There we go. Let's activate that. That is going to enable me to avoid all of these enemies. There you go. There's a nice little bridge. Yes, I'm going to get hit a little bit here, unfortunately. Let's use an auto-injector. Make sure that we survive this fight. There we go. And there's another shortcut. Is it? Yep, that is another shortcut. And now this thing we can't actually get right now. Because it's obviously surrounded by lasers. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't get it. I thought to myself, oh, maybe I can get it, because it doesn't seem like there's a laser on the other side, but there is. Yes, there certainly is. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so here we go. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, it's a boss. Do you see those grey pips on the top of his health bar? Yeah, that means that he has a lot of HP. <laughs> oh my! No, no, no. No, no, no. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna take another healing. And I'm dead. Ah, uh, you know what's amusing? I killed that first, uh, first or second time. Yeah, first or second time on my off screen. Ah, that was, that was unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I'm gonna make my way back. All right, so I've returned to the boss for another go, and this time I'm thinking we're probably going to try not standing in this one area here. I think I'm probably going to try moving back over this bridge and seeing if I can get a little bit more space.
Well, that was very close, wasn't it? That was extremely close, but thankfully we now have a huge amount of shards slash whatever they may be. Greetings, Awake Walker. There is much to be done. The cycles of sleep have been disrupted and deprived of rest. You immortals wander without reason. The cycles must be restored. For this purpose, I have awakened you, the last immortal still slumbering. And in trouncing the sentinel, you have proven yourself capable, at least. In the great fortress to the north, our rulers oversee the cycles. That is where you must begin. Go, awake walker. Your path is your own. Alright, thank you very much. And the lasers have now, you know, reduced themselves and I can now head onward. But obviously, I would very much like a cryopod now, if at all possible. I'd like to be able to restore my HP and obviously level up a little bit. And that area is locked right now. I seem to remember this area. Oh, oh, please don't leave. It's so cold and the city is so quiet. Won't you stay and chat a while? I am an archivist of the archives to the south, naturally, but I woke up here in this wreck of a cryopod. You're the first person I've seen in ages. Do you know where everyone has gone? This awful silence has me dreading the worst. Will you go and make sure the archives are still operational? Yeah, so there's a small little quest there, I suppose. Now, do I, ah, I can go this way. Okay, I need to be a little bit careful here, because I don't really want to run into an amazingly powerful enemy at the moment. I am actually unsure where I'm going right now. Hopefully, is this a cryopod? No? No, it's, it's something else. It's a lift of some sort. <laughs> oh my. Is this a cryopod? Yes. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what I love to see. Okay, I'm going to level up. And we're going to be... Oh, I don't even know what we're going to be getting right here. I, I guess I'm, I'm going to try and get some more willpower. Because I, no, I, I don't know about that, really. Getting bonus item uses and spell uses, that might be pretty nice. I mean, spell that. I mean, just look at how much spell damage I can get right there. That's pretty insane. But then you got to consider my stamina and all that sort of stuff. So I guess I'm just going to do that because I like it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good to me. Anyway, I think that will be it for this episode. If you want to see more, let me know. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.